Hi, it's Ken Jacobson. You're watching Focus on Management on the VCN. They have to do the best they can. I always say when I sign someone new, this, without tr sounding arrogant, and you say that when you're about to sound arrogant, um, this is a huge opportunity for you. I, I am going to be getting on the phone with the most significant people in this industry who are in the business of hiring actors, and I'm going to be telling them that I just found another star, and it's going to be you. And I can't tell them that and then have you walk in the room unprepared or unprofessional or with an attitude. Or, so you have to do your best. You have to always do your best. You can't want this less than me. You can't put less effort in this than me. You know, you want to be able to look back on it. Sometimes the stars have their own way of determining a person's fate. And the most talented actor in the world, with everything going for them and great representation, does not is not a guarantee you're going to have a career. If God forbid you're not going to have a career, you don't want to look back on it and wonder the rest of your life, what if I just tried a little harder? What if I just take it a little more seriously? So don't you know? As I used to say on the swim team, leave it all in the pool. If my swim coach would say, if you have the strength to pull yourself out of the pool, you didn't give enough to the race. You didn't put enough into the race. And it's the same with with this. There's there's people out there who every ounce of their being is the pursuit of this. And I'm one of them. And I want my clients to be like that as well. I, you know, my clients aren't partiers. You don't see my clients on TMZ. My clients are generally very private people. They're focused on their craft. It's not a pursuit of celebrity. It's a pursuit of great work. And um, there's, there's, there's a, a personality type that people associate with my client list. First, I confirmed that they actually did because, you know, in bowling, if you're trying to get a strike by hitting the front pin a little bit to the right and you completely blow it and miss by 18 inches and hit the pin a little to the left and get a strike, you know you blew it, but all anyone else sees is a strike. And I, I, often actors feel because they didn't do what they wanted to do or what they planned on doing or they didn't hit the notes of the beats the way they thought they should or they dropped a line or something they think they blew it and while they're on the phone telling me how poorly they did the booking is coming in on the other line but if in fact it's true that they really had a bad day I get them back in I move heaven and earth because uh, I I if I believe that they really have a legitimate shot of the role and the only problem is they had a really bad audition, I get them back in. I've had many unknown actors beat out, you know, major stars because they were the character. It's like this the character gets up and walks off the page, it's this person. So let's cast this person. Um, so, so in that sense, if you brand yourself uh, and everyone in town thinks of you in a very specific way, that is a legitimate strategy. It's an equally legitimate strategy to say that you don't want nine out of ten pitches on your behalf to be rejected with, I know her, she's not right for this. Um, and so an equally legitimate approach is to do the opposite of branding yourself. Literally, every time you, a casting director sees you, you're unrecognizable to them. You know, you're, you're the character and, and uh, you know, you're a chameleon. You can do anything. And, and if that's their impression of you, they're never going to refuse to let you in the room because you're not right for it.
The only thing I miss about acting is acting. And that's such a small part of being an actor. Uh, Michael Jeter once said to me, uh, he said, my job is looking for work and my vacation is getting it. And uh, I burned out on going from standing ovations on Broadway to a tavern on the green with my little apron being screamed at. And uh, I don't miss that. I don't miss auditioning. I don't miss having power in everyone else's hands. I don't miss constantly uh, being uh, judged and all that other stuff. The only thing I miss is being on the stage. You know, I did more than a thousand performances in my career and uh, I loved being out there. You know, I loved being out there, but that's just such a tiny little part of those 10 years. So I'd say maybe if you boiled it down a thousand, two hours, 2,000 hours, you start doing the math, I probably spend two of those 10 years acting and eight of those 10 years miserable. So. Ha <laughs>